Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, that's a chap here on this ninth day of March, it's the, uh, uh, what is it, 13th anniversary, what did I say to my uh, subscribers this morning, this is the March the 9th anniversary of the law of the S&P uh, back in 2009. And um, on the 6th, that was Friday, we went along the diamonds. And uh, that was the 6th, of the 6th of March, Friday of 2009. And on the Monday, the S&P made its low. So um, uh, just anniversary date, that's all. But what I am looking at here, and I'm going to go immediately to, to, to a whole bunch of questions because... This is such a such an important uh, moment, and um, what I said for the last couple of days, and I, I emphasized it again yesterday, that I had been talking about oh, sometime in the fall. I said I don't like the market at this particular point. If anybody is taking money out the market, you could take that money out and just over a period of months, just slowly take little tranches and put them into the market to average cost in. Now we knew nothing about war. That was just because of the market conditions. I was getting sell signals that were coming up um, that I, I felt we were really close to. And that was just the stance that we took. We were still long from March the 23rd, the day of the low of 2020, um, initially through options. But a week later, we got into the diamonds. And we're still in those diamonds at uh, just under 211. And I said, we've taken, I want to keep that core. And I don't think we're going down to that level, no matter what. I just don't see it. That can change. But what did change was that instead of looking at the market, we were looking at conditions that were changing around the world because of war between Russia and Ukraine. That said to me, that ba nothing based on the Chapman methodology, based on money management, I, I thought I clarified that yesterday, I had another question about it, but it was on money management that said, why not, if the market shoots up from here, or just whatever reason, whatever, let's just say there is a diplomatic solution. Nothing's easy, right? I mean, it could still be really choppy, but let's just imagine that everything at least puts the huge fright out of the picture, just for the moment, right? So the market moves up, and you've taken a little bit off out of all the money you're putting in. You've, you've taken a little, what's the big deal? You can always put it back. I wanted you to have money in case there wasn't a, there still might not be a resolution. You've got to have cash available for all those incredible stocks, like a Microsoft or an Apple or whatever it is that you, you missed the big buy before, and you'd like to get in. You want money. That's all I'm stating. I've got that out of the way. Done. Now let's talk about what is current. What is current is that the Dow is up 645. We've seen green candles for days, except they don't last as green candles. They've been turning into red candles. What's the difference now? Let me num run the numbers, and then I'll go through that. Number one is weekly charts are still in sell mode. Monthly charts are still in buy, buy mode. Not even sell signal, but buy modes, right? In most of the cases. However, the daily charts had a test, a successful test so far of the pattern I call the dreaded H. It did not take out 32,272. We got within 300 points. 300 points in an eye blink, you could have taken that out. Case closed, right? Done. Now we're looking at the chance that there is some kind of a, either a relief rally or a more sustained rally that says fund managers are thinking now is a good time at least to put some money to work. And Tom was speaking about something yesterday, which I thought was quite uh, um, perceptive in terms of experience. And that is that there were no buyers. And, and there were no, he called them real buyers. And I agree with that term because a real buyer is where money is put in 
And on every pullback, money keeps going in, and money keeps going in, and prices rise, and they sustain a move to the upside. Uh, not not where the prices go in, and then because markets are coming down, they just there's no sustaining, there's no conviction. And basically, what we're looking at is conviction of upside action. So the conviction of upside action says the Aussie, uh, 631. We are seeing nothing here until we have not just a move above the left side high of yesterday of 33,402, but we have a high above the 7th of uh, March, 33,579. If we can close above that high, which means we're touching the 33, close to the 33,610, 14 period exponential moving average. Uh, we might start to see the histogram continue to improve in the daily chart. MACD has a chance to make a W formation turn around to the top side. It's got a lot to go. Stochastic is still very weak at 29%. On balance volume is not showing a big V-shaped recovery. This is all in the infant. And this is this is just the early early stages of an attempt at a turnaround that could be sustained. Let's go to the S and P. What are the numbers there? Well, we went to 4,104.65 on the 24th, and yesterday we went to 41.57, I believe it was. Yeah, 41.57.87, and that's so far a successful arch formation because usually the acceleration you can see right here in the H pattern, that arch rollover, the quadrant, the right side quadrant of the arch accelerates down with just barely a move to the upside. But we haven't seen that here. We've seen a nice rally so far up 91 at 42.61 right now, up 2.18 percent. Dow's only up 1.97 percent. This is now a nicer move. The QQQ, the QQQ should be having a very good move. Yes, it's up 8.51 at 331.90, up 2.63 percent. Here's the incredible thing. One of the reasons why I said. To subscribers to my opening call, rather than choose individual stocks, there are certain actions we're going to take today. Uh, one of them pertains to all subscribers, rather than just traders, trading subscribers, and the other one applies to trading subscribers. And one of the things we're looking at here is, is there a chance that the QQQ NDX 100 had a successful test yesterday of the left side low by not going more, down those extra two points to take out 318.26. And the MACD is held very nicely, which could turn into a negative if you say oh, the MACD still has to go down, but holding well is a good positive divergence. And the stochastic is holding better, but it's lousy at 30%, and the on balance volume showing nothing. So this is going to be a really. A very hard working move to the upside to get all the technicals to coincide to say, oh, we're going to go from a buy signal, which we're not even at now, to even a, a chance of thinking of a buy mode. So, the, all I'm saying is that this is exactly where you would expect some kind of a relief rally. And we're going to go into other things in a moment, but we want to look at the IWM that went from 190.60 in January, I think, 24th to. Uh, February 21st, well, 187.92. I wrote under it, which says you could rally. I'm not going to go over the previous range high, and that's the high of uh, 209.05. We're at 199 right now. But this is a trace for the ground. I want to talk about gold being. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. Um, yes, that high that was made back at about 1.20 yesterday in the E-mini. Um, we're really close to it now. We're at 42.64. There's a pattern I've actually started going. I used to do this, but I always found it a little messy. But I decided to put back in. This is the retracement lines and the uh, FIB numbers as plus the wave methodology. See the green? This is my target resistance line. Unfortunately, I've been just so busy. I didn't even trade this. I'm just watching. It's terrible. Uh, but we've gone to a leg E in the hundred in the 10 minute chart of the E mini. Uh, S and P. All right, let's get back to our story here. Uh, so, uh, thank you, GT. Got, I forgot all about it. Heating oil is at a high today. It hit four four point six seven oh nine on the continuous contract. It's trading right now at three point eight nine nine. So let's just go through these. Look, you've got heating oil. You've got. Uh, let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is now down. Five at 117.29, down six. Uh, six sorry, down five percent, down 6.25. Um, this is a peak E, but it's still actually it hasn't plunged or anything. It definitely has pulled back, but it's it's still within the last three days trading range. Um, and the stochastic is under 80 percent. The MACD is very strong. On balance, one says it's overbought near term. But that monthly chart, weekly and monthly charts, these are the charts that we're looking at, and it basically says. Just unless there is a, an agreement that just immediately pulls up, pulls away the crisis of crude oil in capital letters, making it a crisis in lowercase letters, um, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, the whole area of 111 to 106, maybe 104, looks like a really good cushion for crude oil. Because no matter what happens, nothing's going to be resolved very quickly. So we're still going to have high prices of, of crude oil. Let's look at, um, I want you to go to U.S. Uh, uh, this is bonds. So this is the 30-year T-bond, continuous contract 30-year, and it's pulling back sharply. It's at 156 and 630 seconds. Peak D in the Chapman wave says, oh, be careful. 200-period exponential moving average resistance says, oh, oh be careful. And here we are pulling sharply away. Uh, this is going to be very important, down 28, 30 seconds. 
at 156 and 730 seconds. So if you do this with the TLT, which most people have on their chart patterns, they don't always have bonds. You can see that only made a peak C and it's pulling back sharply, never even got a, a, a upside action at all. And this is basically saying that yields remain in the higher range. And we have the Fed today. Under these conditions, do you think the Fed wants to roil the market, especially on an up day? If it's up by, by, by you never know if it's up by two o'clock. It could be down 600, it's up 600 right now in the Dow. Um, I suspect that the, what they're going to say is a quarter point is there. It's the, it's the next one, quarter point or a half a point, but we're going to let market conditions tell us, and it's telling us right now, Yes, you can go ahead with the quarter point, uh, but that's because we've been talking about it for so long. I suspect that they're going to have a very, uh, I wouldn't call it dovish, but what they're going to have is a, a dovish, ex, ex, a dovish nuance within a context that is the action will be dovish, but the words could be a little bit more hawkish. I think that's the best way to do so. Who knows? But that's what I'm expecting. They could roil the market if they say, hey, uh, there's enough evidence to say them that economic conditions have up until now. And that's what we look at. We can't project ahead. But up until now, these have been very good numbers that we've seen and that we feel that we need right now to go up a quarter point. And there's a chance that we will still put that 50, 50 basis point move in the future but it might turn out to be a quarter point. Ah, who knows? Doesn't matter because we have to wait for it. We will, we'll let them tell us. All right. But the TLT is saying, based on our look at the uh, TNX, this is the TNX, is, is the is the ten year yield. That yield, oh, gradation, no, no, pattern successful, and you've got yourself gently falling X. That means you make a top. And then you come down and you're making you're making lower highs and much lower lows. Just make it as simple as possible. At any point this week, if you see the T and X um, holding, not just popping, but holding in the 1950 area, 1.95 is at 1.913 right now. That is a breakout of this particular pattern. It says, uh oh. Be careful because rates are still holding really high. So the Fed might not have to do anything because the reality is that the yields have been holding high in any case. All right, uh, that's Bondi. We haven't done Dolly. That's the dollar. Look at the dollar. Sharp move now is down 91 ticks at 98.16 peak E. See, I, the way I'm looking at this is that these numbers, these letters in the Chapman Wave methodology, they don't just appear for nothing. They are telling us that to have a sharp move off the peak D, E, or F is, is telling us that the last couple of bars were becoming overbought, and now we're resolving that overbought situation. So that's the daily, not the issue. The issue is still only in leg E at uh, 98.16 with a high three days ago of 99.80, was it? Uh, 9942. Let me just type that in. That doesn't get smoothed out. Those numbers always stay. 9942. Whoops, 42. All right. So that's the dollar. So uh, and Vixie. Let's just do the Vixie. Oh no, 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 no. I, I did. I, I wanted to show you gold. Gold is pulling back very sharply, but it's 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 to where it was three days ago, right? Big deal, 1998. It did hit. I usually have a problem putting the numbers in here because this gets smoothed out and then all of a sudden it looks silly. 2078.8 is the number right now on the 8th of August, and we're trading in 1997. Gold, I think, is still in play as the fear factor just at the moment. But if gold starts to trade under 1944, let's call it 1942 because 1944 is the 14 period exponential moving average. And I don't mean pop. Uh, slide below it, whoosh, like that, it needs to hold below 1442. It's a, at this particular moment, and what I say to subscribers is, let's take a little bit more off our gold position, because I think that just for the shorter term, there is a very overbought condition, and it needs to resolve. We can always uh, we will keep a core small position, hopefully, and we will see if we want to get back in again. And now let's look at uh, silver. 
Silver is a little different chart. Remember, silver lags, then it catches up. Once it catches up, I'm always a little nervous and I always say, oh, okay, now they're in sync. Usually that's a good sign and gold needs to pull back and it'll drag silver down. So silver hasn't noticed yet. It's still, it's still reading uh, the New York Times, hasn't woken up, still having its coffee. Uh, when it does, I suspect that it'll break under 26 uh, and that'll be a test. If it closes under 26, it says 25, 23 is probably key support in silver, but it's holding. At this point, it's really holding well at 26.49. It's only down 40 cents. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper um, is trading down at 4.615, down 0.09. It's got that peak E. Look at what you can expect from a peak E if you get everything in sync and it's pulled back sharp. I think copper is still in play, but how it holds 4.50 is going to be absolute key. Right, Kevin? That's everything I wanted. Uh, I did that, did that, did that. Oh, fix the Vixie. Find the Vixie dolly and. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, right, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman Dow's up 604. It's just been stuck there for a little while. s and is up 89. Also, it's kind of been stuck there. So we've got a caller on the line. I'm sorry, Victor. I'm just we're getting used to this new uh, apparatus that we've got. Uh, it's really, really very nice, but... Um, <laughs> There's a lot of action that you've got to go through. So you want to know about OTLY. And I thought I, I saw in the den, I thought someone mentioned OTLY. So I, I picked it up, but I haven't done any work on it. This is the Oatly, Oatly Group. 
And the outbreak group is saying, oh, boy, I'm going to press this and let's see if oh, I don't get a, ho a whole bunch of investors' business daily things now. Okay. O -O Oatly Group does what? Oh, there it is. Look, a whole bunch of things pop up. I don't ever look at them during the day. But uh, let's see if I can get rid of them right now. Uh, could China be here? Yeah, okay. So Oatly Group, formerly known as Havre Global AB, is a Sweden-based oat drink company. The company makes products such as ice cream, yogurt, and spirits. Oatly Group. All right. Um, all right. Well, it was an IPO uh, back in... Um, Early summer of last year, 2021. Oh no, 20. Yes, 2021. Uh, up in the 20 area, and it screams up to 28 very quickly. It hasn't screamed. It bounces, and then it's just had red candles almost every month since then. And today it made a low of five dollars and fourteen cents. Big green candle covering everything else. Yeah, yeah, you could call this um, an overwhelming candle. Uh, I don't. I yeah. Let's just say that the day is young. So I don't know, Victor, if you were into it or whether you're looking to buy. I would suggest to you that the risk reward at 594 right now, preferably if it was trading at about 550, I say, you know, with the low yesterday, uh, early this morning of 514, uh, just to start a position with a 10% risk in something that's just been down every single month. And look at the weekly chart almost every single week. Um, maybe that's a way to go to see if it can hold. Because if, if this has a strong candle tomorrow, goes towards 626, the nine period exponential moving average, that would say it started the move. It's done it before, but it didn't hold. And it, it, it has a characteristic of a big, big green candle and then it makes the dreaded H pattern. It can hold, but it's still a pattern that says you've got a high risk. So, uh, Victor, I would advise you, you're interested in it, and obviously you've done some homework. And I know that you like to look at stocks that have been hammered with a chance that they really turn around and make something more than just a bounce. They make more an intermediate term move. I can't see an intermediate term move here at this moment. I can say to you, that the characteristic of the doji candle yesterday with a big green candle, an engulfing candle, if it closes above not just the high of yesterday, which was 592, but the high of the day before, which is 607, then I, then I can say to you as a trade that all I can think of right now is you have to think of this as a trade. There's not a single clue that says, oh, this is the low, and now you're looking at a stock that's going all the way back to 25. No way. I, I just step by step. And this is the first. It's not even a step. It's, not, it's an intraday move. So if I went to the 120-minute chart, I'd say, you know what? This is a really good candle. The MACD is, is starting to turn up. It hasn't crossed positive. Stochastics at 24% from single digits. This is a good sign. I'm going to suggest to you start your position. Now, what, I, what you have as a stop is entirely up to you. If you had, if it was me, I would not give it more than... I would give it 7%, even though it's just a starter position, and usually a starter position, I like to at least widen the stop. I wouldn't give it more than that. Starter position, and I would only add to it probably on by Friday, that's another two and a half days, if it's trading the 626 or higher area, I would say to you, you know what? There's a chance that this is where you could start to add a little bit more. So yes, start your position, start your engines, 595, personally, I would have a 555 stop on it, taken out. Uh, if, in fact, I'd probably say 565. It's got to work right now. 550, 565 is my stop. I can always get back in. I don't want to hang around if this is going to fail. So it's 591, 565 is, is at least the stop, even though it's a starter position. As it breaks to the upside, if it's going to do that, if it can go above six dollars and 13 cents today not even tomorrow but today i would just make my stop um 20 cents loss maybe even break even i, I would make it fairly tight and no, a break even would be too tight but i would definitely have a stop uh, make it i would short shorten the, the the price i'd just make it a much smaller stop okay that's oatly 
only group AB, and uh, we're looking at it uh, now pulling back a little bit to 588. Now, there are a couple of things I wanted to go through. Questions? So, um, yes, yeah, so what uh, Teddy Keksak was saying, his next objective would be 150. That was the question, one of the questions on crude oil. And he's been so perfect about talking about $100, uh, minimum of $100, and he raised it just recently, but 150 All right, now let's go through uh, some aspects that I think are really important right now. Within the confines of all the different aspects that we're looking at, questions, a lot of questions came up. GDX, where would you, if you've taken some profits, where would you put money back? Well, it's down 91 cents at 37.65. If you're just purely on my work, if you're looking purely technically, I say if you've just taken profits and you've kept a little bit, I don't think at this point I would add back right now. Yeah, that's a leg D in the weekly chart, Doji Candle, but it's only Wednesday. Um, broke out in the monthly chart. That's a nice breakout pattern, but I have to wait for the whole month to see where it closes. And it's gone L, but the monthly chart is still young. It's not even two weeks into the month. So we're only looking at this L coming in right now, meaning long, because the nine period has crossed over the 14, but the month is young. That could change. What I am looking at is in gold, I did this yesterday. Didn't I show this yesterday? I think I did. I showed the charts and I said gold is in a leg F to the upside. Uh, where was it? Let me just double check. Did I change that? Um, a, B, C. So that's E. Is that, that made a G. And then it, this was an F. I don't know why I had it. I think I took it off for some reason. It's made a P, G in the Chapman Wave methodology. And that says that that is a reversal that has to be respected. And that makes 2023 uh, strong uh, 9 and 14 period moving average resistance in the 120 minute chart. But if it takes out today's low of uh, 1981, there's a real good chance it could go to the 1960s quite quickly. That's that left side low that was there about the seventh, the sixth or seventh of the month. Um, we're looking at crude oil made. Oh, that's where it was. Okay, let me just do this, type this in here. We're looking at crude oil. Yep, that made a peak D. And yes, a dreaded H pattern right here. Look, dreaded H, peak A, peak B, C, C failure. There it is. And that just suggests at 117.93, if 114 support is taken out, there could be a quick dip to 112 to 110. Let me draw this in as the music's playing. Right there. There we go. So there's the dreaded H back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi everyone, Basil Chaffin. Yeah, let's go to our Wall of Reflux, uh, Brenton Martinez. Hi, Brent. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Basil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's good to hear from you. You're looking at? Um, the company is called uh, Thor Industries. They're in the RV uh, so space. The recreational vehicles, etc. Yes. So what's your question? Oh, I bought in this morning. I've been doing... A lot of these earnings trades, uh, I've done them in the past, and I and I hadn't really done them for a while. But I saw an opportunity because there are so many stocks that have been taken down, I and mean, insignificantly from their highs. And so I've been trying to focus on. Um, they can be in any industry; it doesn't matter. It has more to do with the chart itself uh, that they're at levels that I think have potential. They have a solid enough fundamental basis that makes it, you know, worth looking at them. And so I've done probably the best one I've had so far is overstock. I bought that one is down at 36 and it's up in the fifties now. And, um, but this one I bought this morning, some I've done before, some I've done after the earnings come out, theirs came out this morning. I've waited. It got down to, which was surprising at 87. The earnings are really good, but it went down 87. I bought calls there. So I just, that's, uh, this is what happened to me at the moment. So just to clarify, because I know this is what you do often, you've bought calls, but you also have the stock? Uh, this one I'm only doing, I'm, I've actually kind of gotten to a point, honestly, I mean, there are some stocks I own actual shares of, but what I've been doing lately with the earnings, I've just been doing options solely. Okay, so let's do this. For, folks, what we're looking at is Thor uh, Industries, recreational vehicles, um, they include Airstream, Hotland, uh, Jayco, Live and Life. So they, they're really into the the outdoors uh, activity in a, in, in a huge way. So I had thought a particular stock that we had, but that we don't have it anymore, was Six, which was part of the outdoor entertainment area, Six Flags Entertainment. Um, and they came out with earnings, which I thought were, I thought they were not too bad, but everything the market didn't like it. And it's almost the same thing when I look at THO. It's almost as if the market is kind of ignoring it right now, because don't forget, you do have high gas prices, although my, my inclination is to think that a lot of people who do the outdoor stuff are prepared to pay for, the, uh, for gas if they can have their recreational fun. So with that said, the pattern that I'm looking at for months now has been lower lows and lower highs. However, the pattern that I know that you're aware of the pattern that I talk about, that's the dreaded H pattern, the lowercase h that tests the left side low. That was very successful yesterday, but the day is young and we'll see what happens there because it wasn't on the move to the 24th. It went to a lower low and then very quickly came back and went above the um, low that was made on the 24th of Jan. So this is the second time, and it went 
it did not break the left side low, and that's important. And it's gapped up today, up five dollars and twenty cents at eighty nine ninety eight. So there are a couple of things that I'm looking at. If I was to take my trend lines and my channel lines, and all I do is I make, uh, you know, from the outside of a channel, I, I three sixteenths or a sixteenth, I make another little tiny little channel, a trend. And I do that to the larger channel as well. And that says this held beautifully above the Chapman Wave inside track by zone. If there was one yesterday and, and the day before, it held beautifully just above 80. And it's, it's eight, up 11% uh, at this particular point from that low. Most importantly, it's headed towards, it's trying to go towards the, um, the resistance level, which would be at 94 so this is the way I would look at it. Do you have call? What what uh, month are your calls? I just went out to the the uh, March monthly, so the 18th. So next, not this coming Friday, but the next Friday. So you've got about two, just over two weeks. So this is what I'm going to say to you. I, I know that you watch the, these things closely, and you usually have a plan, and occasionally you'll. You'll moderate your plan as you're moving along because it's done something better or worse than you were expecting. So you do have some flexibility. It's very early in the liftoff to say that this should go straight towards the 93 area. Um, what I would say to you, based, especially based on the daily, the weekly, and even the monthly charts, there's just a lot of technical work that it needs to do. But if there is a close between today and tomorrow above today's high of 91.50. Now, I, I'm saying a close. In other words, if it goes above that today and then closes above where we are right now, 91.50, that's going to be, that's really what you want to see. Number one. Number two is there has to be follow, in this particular pattern, there could be a one-day rest. I don't want to see two days of rest. It's just maximum one day of rest. And then you start your next leg to the upside. So I know that you have options within two weeks. It feels like a long time. You and I know that if there was a pullback to 85, you can sit staring at those calls as they, they shrink and shrink and shrink. And then there could be one sudden explosive move to the upside or nothing could happen. So you want action really quickly. And what I would prefer to see is that rather than weaken where we are at 89.80 right now uh, and go down to the 89.30 level, I want to see strength come in later in the day. Because I agree with you, just your, your thinking is that it's in the right, it could be in the right area for the next couple of months. But in the meantime, on a short term basis, you're saying over, oversold should have a rally. If that's the thinking, it has to do that because if, it's, if it takes out today's low of 87.33, uh, it's not going anywhere fast. So I think you. this is a moment that's really important. You want to see a close today higher than where it is now at 90. You want to see something at the 90, 56 or higher area. And you want to follow through tomorrow. If you get that, that's just the start of this H pattern that could, could turn into a cup pattern. But I would go one step at a time. And what I'm going to say to you, in the option, if this is just one week to go, I'd say if this actually pops to 94, take as much as you can off and keep a little bit. But this might be a slow grind that by Monday or Tuesday of next week, if everything works out, if the market actually continues rallying, this has a chance to get to 93 to 94. If it does that, that's a really good sign to say that you're in the money and that now it's entirely your choice as to what you want to do with your taking a little bit off, putting a little bit more on, whatever it is. But that's basically what you want to see. You want to see it challenging the resistance channel of 93 to 94 sometime preferably this week without taking out today's low. That just to me would say, what a nice trade because all of a sudden that weekly chart has a chance either this week or next week to break above 95.31, the 200 period, the 14 period moving average, and close above it for the first time since it broke down back in October, the week of the 15th of October 2021, when it was up at 100 and, 125. So this will be the first time that you're actually seeing that being challenged. So yeah, I like your entry point, I like your, your thinking, but it has to now do the work. 
All right. Thank you so much, pal. You have yourself a wonderful day. And thank you very much. We'll talk soon. Good, good luck. We'll be looking at this chart closely. Folks, the Dow is now up 669. That's the action we wanted to see. I'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I'm going to deal with this particular one. Hi, Basil. I have 70 shares of DBC. DBC is the DB Commodity uh, Index Tracking Fund. We once had this when we were using it for crude oil a long time ago. I should have used it for crude oil this time, but we didn't. We're using the DBA, which is the Agricultural Fund, which has also been fantastic. So it says, bought them several years ago at 26.50. Um, Finally, I recovered the losses. Should I hold for higher prices or sell it here? So this is a completely different thing. I'm going to take this minute to talk about exactly what I've been doing for a long time, and I feel very comfortable doing it. It took, it took me a long time. Number one is if you're in something and it doesn't go your way, you've taken something that you thought was a trade, and now it becomes, look at this, it becomes a multi-year, a decade almost, uh, um, a loss. I, what I've done now is if I'm wrong, I get out quickly. I'm done. That's what I do with subscribers. We can always get back and we always make the money back, but I don't want to be there for sitting with a, a big loss. But it went down to the 10 area. So what I'm going to say to you, John, is it got back to where you wanted. Why not take your money off 
have it stop sitting on your shoulder, wagging his finger at you, saying, eh, 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 what a stupid thing, oh, an idiot, what am I doing? Just get out of it. If you want to buy it again, you have to wait a couple of days, and you now have a very fresh position, and promise me you'll put in a stop. I'll talk about it again tomorrow, John. I don't want to treat it now as something light. I'm saying to you, it got back to your prices at 2669 You're even. Thank God you're even. I don't want to sit through another big slide, so do this. Take your money off. This, if you ask me my opinion, that's my opinion. And in two days' time, you can start another position. But this time, it's got to be smaller, and you've got to have a stop, and you've got to be strict. But I wouldn't do that right away. Just take something off, and now you can say, thank goodness it's off the box. I am done. I like to do that as quickly as possible. In fact, my memory can be quick So, folks, uh, have a great day. Uh, check out both of them. I think you've got some positions. That's a good time.